This is Jerry Wilson. I'm the Director of Business Development for Zero POS at Adello. And in this short series of videos, we're taking a look at employee theft, how big a problem it is, and, and how it affects you. In this video, we're going to look at how many of your employees steal and how they do it. Let's take a look at how you may spot it, and then we'll show you what you can do about it. That's going to lead into employee theft fact number three. And that is 7% of annual revenue is lost to employee theft. For most businesses, that really is a substantial amount of money. And how does that affect you? Well, let's take a look at that. If your business is doing 500,000 in annual sales, 7% that is lost to employee theft, the math says you lose $35,000 every year in lost profits to employee theft. Most businesses can't really sustain or sustain that much loss. And in the previous video, we talked about how that leads to over a third of the businesses going out of business and going bankrupt due to employee theft. The, the purpose of these videos is so that you, your employees, don't take home more money than you do. So let's take a look at how this might happen. Employee theft fact number four. Over 75% of your employees steal at least once. While that's a big number, the scarier number is that 37.5% have stolen twice or more. That's where the theft really adds up and how your business really is impacted. But how are they doing this? How do they steal right in front of you? Well, I'm going to give you a couple of examples of, how, uh, of theft and how I've caught it before in businesses. I'm going to introduce you to a concept called cashier stacking. And what that really is, is a way for them to steal right under your nose. You'll never even know they're doing it unless you know what to look for. It is really just a simple way that they track how much money they need to remove from the drawer before the end of day. And how they do this is with simple coins. They'll have a coin on the counter or on the register, and a penny equals a dollar, nickels five, dimes equal ten dollars, and heaven help you if you see quarters up there because that's twenty-five dollars. What they're doing is they're stacking coins around the cash drawer so that they then know how much money is in the drawer that they have got to take out in order to balance back to zero. You'll find these coins stacked around the register. You'll find them stacked on the register. Most often they're stacked right on the little uh, top of the cash drawer right below the register. It's very, very common to see these. And if you do, you probably have a thief that you need to look out for. But it doesn't have to be coins. It can be anything out of a knickknack drawer. You can use paper clips. You can use pins, rubber bands, whatever little trinket. They can use that instead of coins. So you have to be on the lookout for those as well. The most ingenious that I've ever seen was M&Ms. They had M&Ms stacked up there in nice, neat little rows. They had the reds and the yellows and the blues and the greens. And those meant certain denominations. I walked up, saw all those M&Ms stacked, and I knew exactly what to do. I scooped up the handful of candy, put it in my mouth, ate it, and said, let's go count your drawer. And that's the look I had from the cashier, because they knew they were busted. That brings me to how you can combat this type of theft. You don't have to wait until the end of the shift to count the drawer. If you see cashier stacking going on, grab the coins, grab the cashier, grab the till, go to the back and do a, a end of day on that cashier. What you're going to find is that there's more money in the drawer than the sales uh, report shows. That's how the cashiers do it. They work with the drawer open. They do not record the sale, but yet they give change to the customer for that item. 
what you have to do is balance that register the moment in the instant you think there's something going on. Don't wait till the end of the shift. Do it immediately. I'm also going to talk about a variant of cashier stacking. This is, uh, it also happens when the cashier is working with the drawer open. What they do is they ring up an item and then they ring up or print additional receipts. Now where I saw this and where we caught this cashier was in a buffet restaurant. And what they were doing was, again, working with the drawer open. They had rang up the most common item. In this case, it was a uh, buffet and a drink. So they knew that was, let's say, $10.25. They printed out 10 receipts. Now the receipt did say duplicate, but to the person coming through the line, they didn't care. They just wanted a buffet and a drink. So the cashier would give them change out of that open drawer and then give them a receipt. When the cashier ran out of receipts, that's when they knew how much to take out of the drawer. If they had printed up 10 receipts, then they needed to take out $102.50. This particular buffet restaurant was rocking. They had all kind of business going through there. That cashier was making big bucks, stealing over $100 every time they worked. The owner of the restaurant was thrilled. They didn't know any better. They just saw a restaurant full of people and a cash register that was ringing up. The problem was they were losing 100 bucks a day in sheer profit from this cashier stacking uh, opportunity. Employee theft is preventable. A good point of sale system, properly trained management and properly trained owners can spot and eliminate employee theft. To help you, contact your local Adello or Zira POS dealer. If you don't know who that is, Call us at 800-801-6036 and our inside sales team will help locate your local dealer. You can always contact us at www.adello.com, email us at sales at adello.com, or you can contact me direct at jerry.wilson at adello.com. And as always, we encourage you to look at our Facebook page. We post articles daily on stopping employee theft, inventory management, HR, employee functions, all manner of, of articles on how to run a restaurant. Follow us on Twitter at Adelo Corporate or on LinkedIn. And as always, you can go to our YouTube page, Adelo Corporate, where you will find videos that talk about these items and many more.